Hello everyone, I'm Jung Chul. The today's top topic is that I lost the domain administrator password of Windows of 2008 R2. In my case, these days I'm testing the Windows of 2008, but many times I forgot the domain administrator password, so I decided to create this video to share my experience with the many users who forgot their admin password like me. In this video, there are three steps. First step is a VMware setting. Second step, the window setting. Third step, the setup new administrator password. Okay, step one, VMware setting. In my case now, I'm using these two programs for the testing. Windows Server 2008. R2 Enterprise 64-bit and VMware Workstation 9. So if you have this kind of environment like me, then prepare for the Windows Server 2008 R2 ISO file. Here, the VMware will use this ISO file to recover your lost root the v, uh, administrator password. If you are ready to use this the ISO file, then boot your Windows Server using BIOS mode. To enter into the BIOS mode, please click this icon on VMware. VM power power on to BIOS. And after that, in the BIOS mode, press the select the boot mode and the CD-ROM drive must be the first priority as a booting device. If you are successful to change your booting device to the CD-ROM, then you can step to the Windows setting. So now you are ready to boot the Windows of using ISO file. And after that, in the uh, you are recovering the mode on Windows, then the select the refair your computer, this one. And after that, in the recovery option, there are three kinds of options. So here, the select the command prompt. In command prompt, you have to the configure or edit some settings. So at first time, please the select your the right drive. In my case, the C. And here, system the directory, the system32. So here, move this one to this one. And after that, copy the command to this one. Sometimes, maybe e, you will fail to find the C drive. In this case, to try to change another drive. For example, like a D or E, like this. And after that, the restart your Windows Server. If you are successful to change some of the configuration, then the last step, set up new administrator password. First, if you are successful to boot to the Windows Server 2008, press Windows and plus U on keyboard. And then you will find the command, the prompt. Here, net user administrator username and here you can create or define new password and after that you can log in with new password from here okay then try to the exercise this one practice this one first in my case now i already the prepare for windows server 2008 here and this one the vmware workstation 9 First, here, edit virtual machine settings. So here, first, please click the CD DVD. So here, select ISO file of the Windows 2000. In my case, now I'm using this one, Windows Server 2008 R2. Okay. And after that, now let's go to the boot here from the here in the icon VM and the power and power on to BIOS just a click then you will see the BIOS mode 
so here please select the boot in the boot mode in my case i have the five items so here please click the cd-rom drive cd-rom drive must be the first priority and after that f10 then save yes Okay, here enter. Okay, now you are successful to boot to the repair mode, then here using the UIS file, then next. So here, please click the repair your computer. Okay. Then you can see the system recovery options. So here, please click in my case the Windows Server 2008 R2, just the next. So you can see here, the, you can see the three kind of items, system image and the window memory and the command. In my case, I will select the command prompt. Then you can see this kind of command. So here, I will select the C drive so if you are not sure your drive is right or not then just use dir so in my case i can find the windows and uh, system 32 okay so now here move util man this one just util man exe backup file okay in my case i already have this one and after that copy cmd.exe util exe okay on file is a copy sometimes maybe you will fail to find this kind of the c drive then you can select a d like this okay so now i complete to configure this one so here restart so if you the reboot then don't try to or don't select cd rom then this one will go to just the Windows Server 2008 mode, normal mode. Okay, now in my case, I'm successful to reboot to the Windows Server 2008 here, just the Windows and the U. Then you can see this kind of the prompt. So here, net user. In my case, I will the make a new password. Okay, now I the create a new password. So here I will try to login. Then you can see the your Windows Sub 2008 normal mode. We, uh, using your change or recreating password then you are successful to log in to windows server with your new password even if you forgot or even if you lost your uh, domain administrator password thank you for watching this video god bless you see you next video